Okay, my name is Esaiman of Kelly and I'll be taking you to rigging a cut in Blender. We'll be using an add-on in Blender called the Auto Rig Pro. It is sold, it is not free. The add-on is sold and it is on the Blender Market. When you come to the blendermarket.com, you type in Auto Rig Pro and then you'll get it. Um, the complete um, version is $40. And to be frank, I've used it for quite a number of works and it does, it does work, it does work. Let me show you um, projects I've done with the Auto Rig Pro. Probably might interest you to purchase this amazing add-on. Okay, while the project loads, I'm just going to go ahead. Um, last time I tried, I tried to do a tutorial. On my audio output was really bad. It was really bad, so I didn't get much views on that tutorial. But hopefully, I hope this one gets all the views it needs okay so you can see our cut is pretty much right here and could do a lot of stuff and i'm sure if it hadn't been for we not having an opening here we would have had the cut opening its mount nicely okay and the eye movement or oh okay so um let's quit wasting time i'm going to show you how to rig this cut with the auto um, rig pro okay so First of all, when you download the app, what you need to do is to install it. You come to edit, okay, come to user preferences, um, you come to add-on and you install the add-on, okay. Mine is already installed, but if yours is not installed, you have to install it um, by coming here, looking for the directory of where you saved the add-on and then clicking on install, but it's installed already, so let's just go ahead. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to cancel this. Right after installing the add on, the add on shows here that's the ARP um, word here or menu here. Okay, the ARP that's Auto Rig Pro menu here. And when you click on it, this is how the interface looks like. The interface looks like okay. So now, since I've already rigged this, excuse me, freshen it back. Okay, I'm going to unskin it so I could. So I click on the object and I say unskin. And skin okay immediately you can see when I move the head nothing happens okay that's what I want so let's delete this rig and check to see if there is any vertex group on it there is no vertex group which we want okay so now now that we have this okay now that we have this I know I started something talking about auto rig pro you can see all my project files are made with auto rig pro so let's look at we have some little detective here and let's bring in the spy character Okay, so animation starts. You can see how Auto Rig Pro makes my work more easier and faster. See, Auto Rig Pro is it's quite a good. I would recommend it to any animator to get this this um this amazing add-on. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so we select the object we want to rig, then we click on generate objects. Okay, now. You can see that when we click on generate objects, auto repos access where we want to add neck and stuff. But this only works, this kind of option only works when you are working with um, characters such as human figures, okay? Human figures, monsters that are on their feet like human beings, okay? That is when you use this, okay? But there is another way for rigging um, a quad, like that is the, um, the animals with their four legs, okay? And that is you come to rig and then you come to amateur okay then you look for a dog because I mean cats and dogs are almost you know having the same kind of um, skeletal st structure okay so I'm going to use the dog to rig this and it's going to work out perfect so I say I want a dog now they add in um, the skeletal system of the dog so I scale it up okay I scale it up to kind of fit in. And one thing you have to know is that um, the amateur is being locked. Okay, the amateur is locked, so you have to fit in the amateur to suit what you want to do. Okay, so now we can see that um, we've added um, an amateur for the cut, but we need to match the bones to the various parts of the cut. Okay, so. So I'm going to come edit, edit reference bones, okay, edit reference bone. Now, this brings out the skeletal system actually for us to do the editing, okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and 
Okay, actually, I'm going to skip this part. So, um, just watch. I'm just going to align the bones to the 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 mesh. Okay, I'm going to align the bones to the mesh so that we'll be able to um to to uh, match the the mesh with the bones and get a clean um weight paint. Okay, weight paint. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So you can do that if you are following this tutorial. By the way, um. One thing I want you to know for sure is this cut was taken from YouTube, okay? And when I was looking for a way to rig a cut, that is something like a cut, and I wasn't getting any, um, I wouldn't say reasonable, <laughs> I wouldn't say reasonable, but when, when I wasn't getting any kind of, um, how would I put it? So it won't sound like, okay? I wasn't getting any, um, Man, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, well, I wasn't getting any um, material online. Yeah, let me just put it or content. Good content online that you know. I came across um, this actor. Well, forgotten his name, but I I know most of you might have seen this cat online. Yeah, so I I decided to take the cut to you know practice with auto with pro and it worked for me and i thought well if there's no tutorial online why not do some tutorials for you so i'm a learner but i work with my knowledge my skill you know and there's one thing what i'm doing is that so there's one thing i want to address um i work online and i see a lot of people you know kind of spoiling the animation industry i know it's none of my business fine but i mean if we are going to to um, be a kind of um, professionals in our field, I think it's it's hard time it's hard time we start really respecting the profession. People take a lot of shitty um, money for very tedious jobs. I mean, it's it's unbelievable to sit down hours doing an animation like this and taking a fifty dollars for it i wouldn't accept that offer okay unless of course it's a long-term project okay and actually yeah. this project our work is done all we just need to do is to click on match break here okay excuse me we need to click on match break here so match break okay i can see um our bones have been aligned pretty much good you can see where the eyebrow is the lips the teeth and even the tongue so you can see everything is in order the last thing we need to do is to just merge it and amazingly amazingly the truth is one of the things i like about auto Big pro is that the ability for it to um match the ability for it to match um or I, I wouldn't say match, but the ability for you to weight paint, weight paint the, the bones to the various you know sides. It's so amazing. It gives an amazing job to 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 the level of you almost not doing any weight painting at all. So check this out. First of all, you click on the mesh and then you select the um, the rig, and then you click on bind. And let's see the result we are going to have. Amazing. So. You can see our cat's head begins to move. Okay, and that's amazing. Look at look at what's happening. Look at what happens here. Look at it. Let me turn on off this so you can see what's happening. Wow, just look at that. It's it's amazing the the kind of work um, Auto Repro does for you. I mean, so amazing. Okay. Okay. No, the amazing thing is, as an animator, one thing I learned in animation is we control what you see. So, I mean, 
this is still amazing. I mean, this is still amazing, amazing, really, really, really amazing. Having to animate with zero stress, you know. Look at that. I mean, Photoshop Pro is 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 the is the main ish, is the main deal. Photoshop Pro is the main deal. Okay, now so sometimes you might want to add. I'm just trying to figure out something here. You might just try to want to add. Um, you can see the extra, you know, controls to the cut to make it more flexible. This gives you more handle in animation. You know, makes your work look flexible. Which, by the way, I don't use because, man, look at all that. <laughs> all right, so if you want to have that, um, I think what you need to do is to to choose whether you want a bendy bones, addictive, extendables, and stuff, okay? So if you really want more of those stuff, you know, you can just use um, additive, okay, twist. You can use a twist and best, and the moment you click on match rig, you have it done real quick so you can see okay we need to we need to um unbind and bind this again to to have what we want okay so you can see when the cut list it's like okay when the cut list is like like this Okay, you can go ahead and play with play with it more feather and stuff. Just look at how Auto Rig Pro works. I mean, it's so amazing. All right, so thank you for watching. I'll be doing more tutorials. Um, I'll be doing more tutorials. I'll be doing more tutorials, and I expect you to you know support me by subscribing and watching my content actually i have one i really want to release you know working on these projects and stuff i came across some difficult aspects um aspects of you know aspects of works i would like to um share with you okay i'd like to share them with you especially when i was working on a criminal scene where the criminal has to jump over a fence okay where the criminals to jump over the fence. I did this tutorial and I'm just waiting for the right time to share it with you. The right time to share it with you. So subscribe to my channel and let me share my little knowledge with you. I'm not, I might not be the best animator, but I can enlighten you about certain stuff in animation and the animation industry as a whole. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. And until next time, see you.